Okay, we are back again, messing around with the Persona Studio Live 32S Series 3. Now, I've had some requests to figure out how to get the, um, you know, outboard equipment used with the digital mixing board. And it's not that hard, it's actually really easy. I know you're used to dealing with like a mixing console in which they have the bus outs um, going to auxiliary equipment or, you know, auxiliary um, outs or inserts is what we would normally use for like compressors and things like that. But with the Studio Live, it has none of those things. It does have auxiliary outs though, and it does have main outs and it has line inputs and mic inputs. So we can utilize those if we configure things in the correct way. So I want to show you how to get that done. And um, I've made a, a little bit of a diagram here and I'm going to uh, show you how to route that out and in, back into the Persona Studio Live 32S. So let's get, get it going here. Um, on the uh, Studio Live, depending on what you're using, um, you could be using the uh, mix outs here, um, you could, it, and I explained that in my first video with the Persona Studio Live about how to use the mix outs with AVB on a Mac. But let's say you're using um, like a Windows computer and you're using the main outs, okay? So you might be coming out of the main outs right over here and uh, you need to get into an outboard equipment. So say you wanna run it into like a mastering unit like I have here, the old DEQ 624 I have laying around in the studio. You can use one of those. Um, you could also use one of the auxiliary outs. Okay, same thing with the with the windows. As long as you have the routing inside the Personas Studio Live 32S set up correctly, you can do that on a PC. But I would recommend if you're on a PC, just use the main outs, okay? You're gonna go out of the main outs and you would go into the inputs of your outboard equipment. So this particular piece of outboard equipment has inputs with TRS right here. And they also have the inputs with a um, XLR, okay? So if, depending on which cable you have, you can utilize that. Now, it's as simple to come back in. Um, you've got very little options, right? Because we only have mic and line inputs, but that's fine. We can get away with it. So you would come out of your outboard equipment um, from your outputs, and in this case, the DEQ624 has the outputs here in TRS, and it also has um, the outputs in XLR. So whatever you're using, you can uh, you can get it out. And you would go back into uh, your inputs here, which are your line and mic inputs, okay? So if you wanna go XLR, you would use one of these guys, okay? If you wanna go TRS, you can use one of these guys. And that is how you get it back into the mix. Now you might be asking, how do I route that when I get it into my DAW? Well, you just go to select the input that you're coming back into in order to record and set record on that um, DAW. It doesn't matter if you're using Pro Tools or Ableton or Studio Live, you're going to select the input. So you have on the Studio Live 32S, you have 32 inputs and you have all those choices to put those in and it's all at the top here. So you got XLR up here and then you've got the whole um, input from the line inputs here. So many options. Just set your DAW to record from those inputs and set your DAW to, to um, uh, push out the sound out of the main outs. And on Windows, that's output seven and eight, okay? You can wire that however you want though in the digital patching. So if you don't want it to come out of seven and eight, you can patch seven and eight to whatever outputs you have on the, um, on the mixer. And you can also come out of the, uh, the uh, mix outs if you want to. That would go out into your speakers. So you might be asking, okay, if I'm using my main outs for the, um, for the you know, output to the uh, outboard machine, where do I monitor my mix at? Well, you have monitor outputs, okay? So these are the monitor outs right here. You could do those, and that's to monitor your mix. Or 
you could monitor it from one of the mix outs right here. You just need to go patch um, your mix outs to your, um, your main out. And that would actually, sh uh, you would hear what's coming out of your main out. And that's like, a so if you're coming out of the main out and that main out is going into the uh, outboard equipment, you would be uh, monitoring what it sounds like pre-outboard equipment. If you get it monitored uh, on the uh, monitor uh, outputs, you would be monitoring post after what it sounds out of your outboard equipment. And same thing with the mix outs. If you patch the, um, the mix outs to hear what is coming into, for instance, uh, input one and two, because you're running stereo, right? Say you got stereo coming out, and one of these are going into input one, and this is coming into input two. Well, you would just patch in the digital patching um, to make that come out of that. So that's how you use outboard equipment inside of the Studio Live 32S environment. And you just need to set your monitoring levels so that you don't, you know, peak and uh, hit the red limiters inside of your DAW and inside of the uh, Studio Live. So it's going to take some messing around with your levels in order to get them right. And you're going to have a slight amount of latency. But if you're just recording out to get a final master mix or you're trying to add something in from the outboard like reverb or, um, you know, anything, compression, uh, you're going to have a little bit of of delay, but it doesn't matter because it's the final mix. So it's not like you're, you know, doing a mic record and you don't want to hear that delay in your ear. It's not going to happen. It's going to be great and uh, it'll work just like you're using uh, inserts inside of a, a mixing console. All right. So I hope that helped out and um, hope it leveled out the playing field there for you to be able to use your outboard equipment in this brand new system that you have that's all digital. And uh, stay tuned on the next one. I don't know what we're gonna make, but we're gonna make something cool. And if you want me to make something specific, comment down below and I'll get specific for you. I love making videos for y'all. So subscribe, love it, like it, share it with your friends. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.